Miss Brands of the show. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to my beautiful people. It's another beautiful day that God has given to us. That's why we are here again to give you a vital information. You know, here we talk about migrant and document issue. You want to know more about document, you want to know more how to prepare yourself for commission appeal, or you want to know anything about your document, what you need to do, just hit me on my WhatsApp number. I'm here to give you answers to your questions. So we are here to learn, we are here to give you know information to our brothers and sisters, people who cannot, you know, as you know, have time, you know, to go and read and uh, collect information about migrant to know what is happening around us as a foreigner so we that have this uh, you know time and sometimes we, you know sometimes we drop you know information and uh, if I tell for that matter before I drop my news I you know I used to go down details I need to you know verify so where it is real and legit one before I come aboard and drop to my people so we are still talking about this sanatorium and so many people are you know wondering how which day which time are they going to give this sanatorium because these measures is not easy you know they are fighting they are pushing but you know they must have this uh, opposition people who is trying to block the measures but uh the, um, these um uh, this party this uh, viva party they are fighting that is the minister of interior and the uh, minister of uh, the prime the the minister of agriculture they are fighting so hard for them to pass this measure and the ex-minister is still supporting the many many ex-minister of interior are supporting these measures because when they were you know in government they did the same thing also many of the give documents to irregular migrants remember last you know three or four years where Renzi was um, on government he gave you know he gave document to people but only savvy came on came on board he stopped many things he delayed many things understand he makes this irregular migrants increase more you know before you can have documents this time you know God must stand for you. You must be prayerful. Understand? So this woman look everywhere because these irregular migrants are increasing every day, and they are still multiplying. Understand? People have lost their job. People have you know cannot find job for them to renew their casa speciale because before we can renew our casa speciale without working contracts. Understand? But when somebody came on board, he changed it. Without working, you cannot renew your casa speciale. So. This, uh, mini this new Minister of Interior is planning hard to put some measures on that uh, Casa Speciale. If uh, you can, if you don't have work, they can still renew it for you. That is a better one because if you don't find work, because to have any work is not easy. So that is why they are planning to give this, uh, to, legal to legalize uh, this um, uh, agricultural sector so that uh, people can go and work in agriculture and, you know, renew their documents also. Because giving people you know fake contracts and you know making them irregularly and you're using them to work is, is the, the said is against the law because you can't use irregular migrants to work but you are still using them to work and many of these irregular migrants are working many of them are working many of them are still paying tasks like these domestic workers that do have a thing that do do care um i do care for families old people and children many of them are irregular also Many of them, are, they have contracts. I have many who have contracts, but they don't have documents. They are planning, they are, you know, trying to have documents. They are processing different ways to, you know, for them to issue them documents, but no head. But uh, that's why the woman said that people are working in different sectors, but they are irregular. So now there is this crisis. You guys should give them documents. You guys should provide for them. You guys should secure their heads also. You said, you, you know, we should, you know, lockdown we should go on the quarantine that everybody should be indoor nobody should come outside but these irregular migrants that that they can't find it are in, invisible you can't see them where are they she said that she have walked to many places she have gone to you know ghettos where these irregular migrants are staying as they you know they use them to work as you know farmers they are living in ghetto the place they are staying no better water for them to drink the place they are staying is don't stink and uh, she don't like the life they are living because they're irregular migrants that that's why you they have this uh this mind this uh it gives them the effort for them to use them to work more you understand know, and they will work one hour they will pay the three error because they're irregular you know sometimes people who have you know who, who have been working before they are they're not feeling big in the in this uh, agricultural sector they are Boss will tell them, go and bring workers for me for we so that we can, you know, invest and uh, cultivate our crops. But some of these migrants will go and bring these irregular migrants and employ them there and, you know, exploit them into that places. And they will be using them and be paying them, you know, on that paid money. Understand? Be using them. I find, I read some uh, information, some updates, uh, let me just say, uh, last three days. This, you know, 
country people, this I don't want to call their name, they are using their own brother working, paying their 200 euro every month. 200 euro. And these people are working every day because they, they, are, they are irregular, because they don't have documents. So these people have to complain to, you know, some people, some group of people, this place, ah, 200 euro for you. I've been seeing you guys working hard. So they are paying you guys 200 euro for, you know, for this work, this farm work. Eh? But these people who went and exploit those people, their own country people, they are receiving thousands of money. They are re receiving thousands of money. So when, you know, investigation, you know, came in and investigated them, so they went to go and call their, their boss. The boss said, I have given them the money for them to pay these workers. But I don't know how they use this money. But later they, they find out that these people are, you know, keeping the money, exhausting the money themselves. They are not paying these workers because they are irregular. They are not paying them well because they don't have documents. So who have documents, they will go and forge some, you know, contract and they tell you that we have given you contracts. But let me tell you, when they give you contract, you have to take that contract to Chento Penipiego or its office. Go and control if that your contract is, you know, reading. So that is, don't trust anybody. You have to go and control it because I have heard some information. People called me and said, I went, you know, to assess for this bonus, but they said my contract is not ready. That is it. Your contract will not be ready because they have, they have, they have fake contracts also. So you have to be sure. So that is woman. That's why they are fighting for them to legalize, you know, these irregular migrants that willing that have been working before. That's why they are searching so hard for them to give them these documents. Understand? The Minister of Agriculture, you know, Agriculture, Teresa Benanova, she, she's trying to include regularizing, you know, all on all documented foreign workers in the government. Main degree which should be approved by this by the council of ministers in italy this week the team is currently being adopted by the italian cabinet understand benanova on thursday said she said it was not possible anymore to buy time talking about measures interior minister luciano lamogese, lamogese is working on this you know planning on these measures, she's working so hard. Benanova, a member of the small Italian Viva Party, you know, of ex-Prime Minister, that is uh, uh, Matteo Salvini, is pushing to regularize about 600 undocumented foreigners' workers. Understand? So, I hope you guys are following. You see, they are fighting, they are pushing so hard for them to pass this law. They don't want to, you know, she says she don't give up till they pass these measures. No matter how those, uh, you know, opposition are trying hard for them to stop it. No, for this coronavirus issue, everybody has need to be secure. Everybody need to be, you know, to be, they, they, their life need to be secure also. Understand? So when you are keeping these irregular migrants, you're pushing them aside. How will this corona issue go down? If one of them contact and they, they are still moving around. So, that's, and these people are working also. They are using them to work in, you know, agricultural sector. It's these people that are bringing food in our table in this crisis time. Understand? If you don't want to get the document, she said I'm going to stop them. So let me see who's going to work there. Understand? So that's why she's putting many measures on their plan, on this and our parliament for them to regularize these people. She's trying a lot. She's pushing a lot. Understand? She's shame, you know, she said a positive, you know, thought about this uh, sanatorium. She don't want to give them, she don't want to give any, any gap, she don't want to give them any gap at all. She's trying to push and push for the heart to win this measure. So we need to, you know, be patient and back it up with our prayers. Always I said, understand? Things are going to be, things going to be okay. Things going to, we have hope. I believe that there is hope. This update just came in just three hours from now. And we have hope. Understand? We have hope. If if this does not happen, the state become not only um, you know, incompleted, but also prom promoting you know in illegality, forcing the mafias using these people to work in the agricultural sector. Understand? Belanova and, and Lamogese have discussed a measure to grant seasonal state permits. That can be renewed with a job contract. You see? 
Bella Nova and Lamujizi, that is the Minister of Agriculture and the Minister of Interior, they are discussing to regularize these people by giving them seasonal state permits that can be renewed with a job contract. Understand? However, Lamujizi is you know, working on the regularization of about one third of 300, I mean, 600,000 irregular workers, estimated by Belanova. So they are working out. There are 300, uh, uh, 300 uh, undocumented workers and uh, 300,000 undocumented. And they have under 250 undocumented, that is the domestic workers. And they have a lot of people who are still working in different sectors, making the 600,000 undocumented workers. Understand? So, they are pushing hard for them to pass these measures. So, my brothers and sisters, what we need to do, we need to you know, be patient and, uh, you know, stick on these uh, these platforms that he's talking about, you know, documents. We will be bringing more updates about this uh, sanatorium so that we we'll know what are they saying, so we can be know what are they doing. Understand? If there is positive, they may thought if there is a positive chance for them to win it. So we need to connect. Understand? Just try to subscribe and like this video because uh, we are doing our best for we to bring more updates about this. Natural. We are doing our best for we to alight our brothers and sisters who want to know more about it. Understand? You know this harvest time is in, is very near right now. So they need they need workers. So the woman don't want these mafias to exploit irregular migrants to go and work in that place. So if they don't pass that that uh, these measures, they say nobody will go there. So that's why she's standing for this on this and some material. They must pass it by passing this on um, giving them you know uh, this seasonal state permit. Then late they can renew it to working contract. They will give you one if you have a one year contract. They will give you one year documents from there. They will give you two years. When you renew it, almost like five years, you can apply for Qatar the Sudan. That's how you build your documents. So my brother, my sisters, let's be patient. Many people want to pay tax. Many people want to work. You understand? Many people have been looking for job. This opportunity. Many people don't have work. Don't have work. Many people don't have documents. Many people have, they have casa speciality, and that casa speciality is about to to expire. So this is the main thing that you need to do by connecting yourself by looking for job. Go to Chento Penipiego, apply for job. This is now work as a farmer, as the agricultural sector. So you can work and you know can you need your casa speciality for you to allow your casa speciality to you know just go down like that. So we need to be careful. This is this is a you know a, uh, a better um, idea for all our brothers and sisters, the irregular and the one that is that have documents also find job or you know by agricultural sector so that you can renew your document also so you can lose your document understand you know that they say that they have the uh, extended uh, these are uh, uh, valid uh, invalid document expired document and the one that is going to expire they have exchanged the dates you know a construct of updated the new dates that uh, you know they say the document that have expired that they have expired from uh, january and april they extended to 15th of june but now they have extended to under to 31st of august but the seasonal workers they extend their their, their you know their permits their permits to 31st of december that is just seasonal workers people who work as a season seasonal workers as a Sajonali people who have a permission to sojourn in Sajonali, their own rest, they have uh, the docu the uh, expiring documents and the one that going to expire, they have you know they have chance to renew it for not the till December 31st. So understand? So your document is valid till December 31st because Kostura have a lot of work to do this month. They have a lot of work to do. So that's why they are they are extending the dates to you know people who want to renew, people who want to collect their documents. So People who the document have expired, so your document is valid in thirty uh, first of uh, of August. So you, if your Kostra open try and go and you know how and collect some information and uh, put your document to renew and you know how you, you need to go and take an um, appointment to renew your document. If your document is out, go to your Kostra if they have open to go and you know ask information how to recollect your document. So people who their documents are you know they are saying their document have expired. Your document is uh, valid in uh, 31st of August and seasonal workers uh, 31st of December. That is 
permission to schedule is stagionally 31st of December. Your document is valid in 31st of December. So there no problem. People who travel that they, they lock the place as in the, 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 there is a lockdown in the countryside, you can't come back. Your country your document is still valid in on the 31st of uh, August. And the seasonal workers to the face of December. So don't worry. So let's be connected to this channel. Please try to subscribe and like the video and promote this video. So stay blessed and stay connected. And I will see you in my next video. And uh, you guys, we need to share love to each other. When there is love, positive things can change in our life. We need to love ourselves. That is what I used to say. We need to love ourselves as you know Africans and so uh, one nation. And so uh, when love is in our midst, things can change. You understand? Love conquered many things. So guys, let's love ourselves off show love to each other more love to you guys and stay connected please like the video please like the video and share to your friends and family but for now stay connected more videos will be coming in more updates i'll be bringing more updates so you can be knowing what is happening what are they saying about this uh, sanatorium and then about the document issue stay blessed and more love